the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let's call to mind our shortcomings and failures. Ask God's pardon and forgiveness for the worthy celebration of this most holy Eucharist. We shall pray together, I confess, to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy, holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and uh, ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel, back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the east, for the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw a water trickling from the right side. Then, when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again, he measured off a thousand and had me wade the water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but now there was a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, have you seen this son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had me sit. Along the bank of the river I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, this water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow from the sanctuary. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, Lord of hosts, hosts is, is with us. us. Our the stronghold strong is, the, is God the God of, of Jacob. Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The, the Lord, Lord of hosts, hosts is, is with us. us. Our stronghold our strong is, the, is God the God of Jacob. Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst. It shall not be disturbed. 
God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord, the Lord of hosts, hosts is with us. us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord, the Lord of, of hosts, hosts is with us. us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethsaida, which with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and knew that he had been ill for a long time. He said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, Take up your mat and walk. Immediately, the man became well, took up his mat and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was. For Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore, the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Water sustains every life. You know, we are in this beautiful season of spring. After a couple of showers, we see the wonderful difference in nature. The grass turns green. The trees began to put on tender leaves. 
water sustains life. We'll listen to the first wording of today. Prophet Ezekiel speaks about the water flows out from the temple. Not only totally make the land fertile, all kinds of trees, flowers, and plants grows. Now coming to the gospel passage. Jesus heals a man who was ill for 38 years. Now when we read the gospel of John, the cleansing of the temple has a significance in the gospel of John. For two reasons. First, Messiah is the one who orders the right worship. And secondly, Jesus is going to replace the temple. He becomes the temple. He becomes the life giver. As John would say, in him we can find life in abundance. As we continue this beautiful London journey, let's ask the grace from the Lord that we may place our trust and confidence in him and find the life-giving water in him and him alone. Let's place our prayers and petitions before the Lord, asking his blessings. For Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, all the leaders of the church, we pray to the Lord. Christians all over the world, as the journey through this beautiful season, that the good Lord may bless all their Lenten observances, we pray to the Lord. As we have began the Eucharistic adoration, more and more may come and spend time before the Eucharistic Lord. We pray to the Lord. For the spiritual and physical well-being of all operations, we pray to the Lord. For peace in the world, the peace that Jesus promised, we pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let's place our personal intentions before the Lord. Let's remember and pray for all the faithful departed, especially for Edward G. Gamroff for whom this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. God, our loving Father, we bring our prayers and petitions before you. The liturgy of today reminds us that in your Son, Jesus Christ, we find life in its fullness. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
Bless Tari Lord, get of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer fruit of the earth. Work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, good of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we place the sacrifice we offer you with a humble and contrite heart. Lord, worship we are in it, is and cleanses from our sins. <clears throat> Precious sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator for this our, for this our mortal life and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Make this prayer through Christ uh, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and every way to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our falls, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fond of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving things, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was he ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in a mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy and soul we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and uh, ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the world, who live and reign forever and uh, ever. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, may the bringing of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring it to life to those who receive it, Lord Jesus Christ, and the liquid. By the will of the Father and of the Holy Spirit, yet death brought life to the world, free me by your most holy body and blood from every sin and evil. Keep me always with your commandments and I will let me part it from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ Keep us safe for eternal life. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not ever let me be separated from you. Amen.
Brasil. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O oh Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our, for our bodies now and likewise in times to come through Christ our Lord. We shall pray together. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. So thank you everyone for being part of this Eucharistic celebration, and you have a wonderful Tuesday.